All right, Nick, let's talk about the Texas Longhorns. We all know that Quinn Ewers was named starting quarterback of this team. We all know that it was set in stone. He's going to lead them into their first year in the SEC. But not so fast because Arch Manning has stormed onto the scene. I don't know if it's enough to supplant Quinn Ewers as a starter of this team, but he had one heck of a spring game, and it's something that we have to talk about. Let's get into the article and we talk more about it on the other side. This is from over on OutKick, and it says, Arch Manning State started today's orange and white spring game hotter than the Texas sun, going 5-for-5 five for, five for 103 yards and a pair of touchdowns in front of what sure sounds like a sold-out stadium. Look, it's obviously just a spring game. Texas head coach uh, Steve Sarkeesian already made it clear Quinn Ewers is starting next year, and the pro-Arch Manning crowd went nuts. Some thought he'd be like every other non-starter in college football nowadays, hit the transfer portal so fast your head would spin, but he didn't. Instead, he put his head down, spent the offseason grinding, got bigger, stronger, and faster, and came out today throwing absolute darts like his uncles before him. I think it's a very interestingly written article, but nonetheless, the point remains. Arch Manning came out and absolutely destroyed the spring game, being perfect, sh- showing everybody that he is capable of, of being that SAC caliber, you know, big time quarterback, Nick. I think this is really interesting. I'm curious what your thoughts are. But talking about great players, talking about you know the Texas Longhorns dynasty, what they have been able to do. Texas fans in the comment section below. Draft season is right around the corner. Let us know who is your favorite Texas first round draft pick of all time. There's so many players. This is a team that's been around for such a long time. Just let us know who your favorite first round draft pick for the Texas Longhorns were in the comments section below. But Nick, what are your thoughts on Arch Manning's big day? Look, it's one of those things with Manning at Texas is where we all kind of want him to be like his uncles Peyton and Eli, right? We're looking and we're excited to see another Manning play quarterback, especially in the SEC with Texas moving to the SEC. It just feels right with the world and him not playing as a freshman last season. We kind of understood Texas is very good. But I tell you what, Myers, when him dominating the spring game like that, everything he was able to do, it was sort of just a, a magic is in the air element. And it's one of those things is that we had been looking for moments with Arch Manning. We had been looking, you know, maybe to oversell, hey, he gets one big completion. He's there. He's arrived and things like that. But this was a moment where start to finish, he was off the chain. His final numbers for the day, 19 of 25 for 355 and three touchdowns, right? A lot of accurate deep balls, a lot of great decisions, right? It wasn't absolutely perfect, but it was pretty darn close. And I tell you what, I know everyone has named Ewers the starters. I know Coach Stark probably isn't going to change that anytime soon. But when you watch Arch Manning play in this spring game, he looks like a completely different guy than we saw at the end of training camp and sometimes during the regular season last year. He looks a little bit bigger. He looks a little bit thicker. He looks confident. That quick release, that accuracy, that touch, he looks like an SEC quarterback. He literally, I mean, I hate to say it, he looks like a Peyton Manning. He looks like an Eli Manning from the time that Tennessee and Ole Miss respectively back there. And that's got to make Texas fans really excited. And, and look, I think a lot of credit is due to Arch Manning and his support system around him because a lot of people thought he would transfer and be a starter immediately somewhere else. He's stuck with it. He's clearly gotten a lot better. And I think right now, I think as we get ready to, for training camp, I think Coach Sarkeesian and his staff do have an interesting debate on their hands because regardless of how they feel internally, the entire fan base, the entire booster structure, the entire college football world wants Arch Manning to be the starting quarterback. And now we have evidence that he can play at an elite level. And that's got to be in the back of the mind of the coaching staff. And they said, listen, if it's close, if it's even competitive between Ewers and Manning, you've got to go with Arch Manning as your guy because just of the energy, just because of the momentum, you talk about getting potential transfers and recruits and all the advantages he will do. You'll literally be on primetime TV even more, right? It, it, it's one of those things that will be a little Manning mania. And as much as Sarkeesian wants Ewers to be the guy, and I think he will be to start the season, I wouldn't be surprised if Arch Manning plays a lot more than people would have thought just a few weeks ago. And he may end up starting some games. He may end up ending the season as a starter. I wouldn't be surprised if we have a, if you back up a few years, a little Jalen Hurts to a Tagovailoa dynamic where Jalen Hurts was the guy. He was the veteran. He had won a lot of football games. And then late in the season when it's time to you know turn it over and win big games, you need a better passer in there. Arch Manning slides into the fold. I think this is the beginning I know it's still a long ways to go, but I think this is the beginning of the Arch Manning era in Texas. Yeah, and when you look at this team and you look at Arch Manning, 
it is so hard to argue against him if he's looking like he's any semblance of being as good or better of a player than Quinn Ewers. Because when you're Texas, you're one of the biggest organizations in college football. You know, one of the older teams, been around for a long time, had a lot of dynasty. When you see a guy like Arch Manning, you just see, and unfortunately, this is what the game is about nowadays, dollar signs. You know, this is a guy that's going to sell out stadiums. Like you said, this is a guy that's going to put you on primetime television week after week. People want to see this guy play. The fans want to see him start. The pundits want to see him start. Everybody loves Arch Manning. So I think Coach Sarkeesian, like you said, he's in a tough spot here. Quinn Ewers is a very good quarterback, and I don't want to take away anything from him. But there are so many people clamoring for a guy like Arch Manning to kind of step up and take the reins and be the next great one at Texas. That's what they brought him in for. People are saying, hey, this is what you brought this kid in for. You know, last year he wasn't ready. I understand you didn't want to use him. This year, it looks like he's ready. Why would you not put this guy in? This is what we brought him for. So I think that, like you said, it is a really tough spot to be in if you're Steve Sarkeesian because the amount of money that he will bring this school plus the talent that he was able to put on the field is almost undeniable as far as him becoming the starter of the Texas Longhorns. And I think this spring game is just a testament of making that decision much, much harder. (laughs) 